Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to save a SharePoint site template. Now on this video, we'll see how to create a brand new site using that template. So guys, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on Microsoft 365 Admin Center and we'll open SharePoint Admin Center. Now I will click on active sites and on previous video we have saved the template of our site FlyHub. Let me open it in new tab. Okay, here I will click on site contents and here we have a list and few documents inside our this site FlyHub. Now let's see where we can see the save template of this particular site. So we'll go on site contents. We'll click on site settings and here we are not able to find the solution gallery. So let's try to access solution gallery where we have saved the site template. So for that, so for that we'll remove everything here and we'll type the URL to access the solution gallery. So we'll type catalogs forward slash solutions forward slash forms forward slash all items dot ASPX. Now we'll press enter. Okay, so this is our solution gallery and inside solution gallery and this is our template of site flyhub which we have saved in our previous video. So if you want to learn how to save a site template, you can watch my previous video. So this is the template which is saved now. So using this template, we'll create our new brand new site. So we'll go back to our SharePoint Admin Center now. I will close this. And now for creating a new site, I will click on create a site. And here, because we will be using the template which we have already saved. So we'll click on other options. On now on other options, we have to choose a template. So we'll click on this top down menu and now we'll click on more templates. Now it's saying create a site collection. Now we'll give a title to our brand new site. So I will give it a name site and here I will give the same name. The language will be English. And now we'll click on custom. It will take some time to like, okay. Now we'll select the option, select the template later. Now we'll select our time zone. So I will select IST time zone okay so here it is it's UTC plus 530 now okay so I've selected my time zone now here I will add my administrator account I will type Rachit and I will check the name okay so our name is selected now I will click on ok okay now we'll click on the active pages in the new shape on admin center Okay, now our site is not listed. Let me refresh the page once. And now you can see our site is now listed. We'll open this site in our new tab. Now in template selection, we'll click on custom. And you can see here we have the template which we have saved in our previous video. So we select this template on now we'll click on OK. So now guys, it will take a while to create the site using that template. So let's wait till the time the process gets complete. Okay, now it's completed. Now it's asking us to set up the groups for the site. So for this particular new site, we can create a new group or we can use an existing group for visitors. If you'll check this box, it will add automatically add a site visitors group on this site. And for the member of this site, we can again use the existing group. For owner of the site, we'll again click on use an existing So it will add our site visitors group of the owner of the site. Now we'll click on OK. OK, so now you can see our new site is created using the template. Let's open the FlyHub site as well. So you can see this is my the site which we have created using the FlyHub site template. 
and it's quite same. Now we'll click on the site contents and on fly hub we'll also click on site contents. You can see we are on the site site. You can see we have one list and inside documents we have one folder with the name of shareable items. Now let's go to the site content of fly hub. You can see we have the same list with the name of flight details and if I'll go to documents we have the same folder with the name of shareable items. So reason we are seeing all these documents and the list because we have saved this site template and we have selected an option of include contents. So that's the reason we are getting all the folders and files on the new site as well. Now again if I'll go to site contents and if I will open my list which is flight details you can see we don't have to create a new list and new columns for this brand new site we can simply start adding our details on this site so that's the beauty of creating a site using the template so friend that's how we create a new site using the template which we have saved in our previous video so that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.